One of the issues that I've had when I first started working in Premiere Pro was lagging playback, where it would be really choppy and I wouldn't know what to do. It was a real dog to edit through stuff, and I really just thought there was something wrong with my computer. So let's dive into Premiere Pro and let's just not do anything. Let's just open up a project, a brand new project, and I just want to show you guys first the problem and then we'll get into the solution. Okay, so we're going to open up a new project. And just for the sake of simplicity, we're not going to do anything to the settings. I'm going to show you one way to do this. I'm going to just hit OK. Yes, confirm the overwrite. It's just untitled. We'll just leave it as it is. Okay, so now we have our thing over here. I have some footage already ready to go. So let's just drag it and drop it. Support it. So now let's pull this over to the timeline. And I am just going to hit play. And the first thing that you notice, okay, there's no sound on here, but generally what happens is that the audio will keep going, but then the footage itself will be really choppy. And it'll be, it'll be a total mess. Now there's one thing that you could do, I'm gonna hit pause real quick, is that you could try lowering the quality, okay? You think it fixes it, but then what happens? It's not really any better. Still choppy. Okay, well, let's lower it even more to an eighth. Oh, well, that's completely unworkable. I, you really want to edit stuff in that low of quality, and it's not even... It's still stuck. Okay, so here is one thing that you could do. Is you could... All right, first, let's go, let's go back to full quality real quick. Okay, so I'm going to delete this off my timeline. So you want to right click on it, want to go to proxies, create proxies. Okay, the settings that is best to use for most camera setups, now especially if you're doing something for YouTube or a general video, H.264 works the best. Even if you didn't shoot in H.264, as you can see, this is an MOV file. And the setting, the preset I like to use is 1280 by 720. So I think that's a good baseline for where I want to be at. Okay, so you hit OK. Okay, so now what you notice is that encoder opens up. And this will encode the files. And this will create a proxy. So basically what a proxy is, is it creates a lower resolution file of the file that you're working with. So that way you can edit it and not really have to worry about using such large files which will really bog down the, the system. Okay, so we're gonna wait for it. It's analyzing frame by frame. Okay, so as soon as that's done rendering, what you wanna do now is you wanna go up to sequence and you wanna set up the sequence settings. These are the settings that I use, okay? I like to go into 1080p square pixel for YouTube videos and then after that, I will set it up to 23.976 frames per second, standard movie frame rate. I'm going to set this up here. Do that. Okay. Everything's good. I'm going to uncheck that. Okay. And then I'm going to hit OK. All right. So now I'm going to move it onto the timeline. All right. So over here, it says it doesn't match the sequence settings. We know this. We did this on purpose. So we're going to go keep existing settings. And then we're going to drag this back to the beginning, hit play, and watch what happens. There you have it in full quality. Perfect. Absolutely nothing going on. Now as you get in and you edit a little more, you might have to dim the quality down just a little bit. But I have had no issues whatsoever editing really long videos, throwing in tons of edits in there really no issues whatsoever. We're going to X out this project and I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you version number two. And this is the way that I do it. Okay, so I'm going to open up Premiere again. We are going to start a new project and we'll name this one. Okay, we're going to call it new project. It took me all night to think of that. All right, so then you want to click on ingest. And over here, click ingest, go over from copy, 
copy and create proxies. Under copy and create proxies, you want to switch over to 720 by 1280 H264. Okay. And then click OK. All right. So now we have a new project over here too. Okay. So now drag and drop it, import the files. Now here's what it's going to do. It's automatically going to open up encoder and then it's going to do that same process that we did here. And then once again, you just want to go back to your sequence, set up your sequence settings, moving over to the 1080p square pixel, set the frame rate, set the frame rate, uncheck, hit OK. OK, who cares about the preview files? We don't even have anything set up. This is a new project, so OK. And even if it was an old project, when you set your sequence settings, the old previews don't even matter anymore because you want to get it so that it flows, so that way everything works good. If you don't have your sequence properly set up, your project will be a complete beast. Okay, so now we're going to check out encoder. It's almost done over here. Okay, so as soon as that's done, we can close out this. Okay, so now it's already on to the timeline. Everything's good to go. Just hit play, and there you go. Done. Pretty easy, right? Okay, one important thing is that when you're working with proxies, you want to make sure that this button over here is enabled. See how this area is gray right now? You want to make sure that it is blue. This is the toggle proxies button. So you want to go over to the plus sign, and you want to find your toggle proxies if it's not in your menu, and drag it down onto the timeline. And when it's highlighted blue, then you are working with your proxies. When you turn it off, then your proxies are off. So when you go to export a file, you want to make sure to turn it off first. And if you want to make double sure, you really don't have to because this is the control for your whole layout. But um, when you have your timeline highlighted, um, you could also go over to preferences and then you can go to uh, media and then where it says enable proxies you would uncheck that. See how it's unchecked here and it's unchecked here? I'm going to show you something. Check it here and now watch this. In preferences, back to media, see it's checked now. So if these two will sync to each other when you are working off of the timeline and we'll go over export settings in another video. Um, there's a little bit more detail that's involved on that if you're working in bigger projects or something that is not just standard baseline. Um, you know, if you want to export 4K, if you want to export 1080, if you're working with different camera setups, I will go over and how to do all that stuff. And there's a simple formula that I use for that kind of stuff. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this content. And if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, let me know. If you liked it, leave a like. If you're new, subscribe. All this stuff really goes a long way to help me, and especially sharing helps me keep stuff like this going so I can bring more content to you guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.